Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about hummus. And after I'm done with this video, chances are you're going to probably drive out and get some hummus and start consuming it because it's quite an amazing uh, combination of six ingredients. Um, chickpea, tahini, olive oil, lemon, garlic, and sea salt. Now when you buy hummus, read the ingredients and make sure it does not consume anything else like preservatives and chemicals and soy oil. Okay, don't get that one. Get, get it basically just with these ingredients. Now let's just first talk about the chickpea, garbanzo bean. It actually has properties to improve insulin resistance. It helps your blood sugars. So even though uh, there's a good amount of carbohydrate, it will not affect your blood sugars too much at all. I have diabetics that consume this and it doesn't really affect them. So that's the good news. Plus if we add these uh, tahini and olive oil, that fat buffers any type of, you know, spike in insulin, okay? Now I'm sure there's a point where you can consume too much, but here's the key, is when you consume hummus, make sure you use vegetables, not pita dip. I'm sorry. Okay, so it also has 75% insoluble fiber. When this fiber goes into the large colon, these microbes start consuming it, and they make this thing called butric acid, which then feeds the colon cells. This acid is also really good for insulin resistance. So it's going to help you in two ways. Now chickpeas are also high in molybdenum, which also helps the liver detoxify certain things like heavy metals and also byproducts or toxins from candida. So that's pretty cool. And then we get to tahini butter. That's sesame seed oil. Sesame seed um, oil has a lot of properties, fat soluble vitamins, but it's high in uh, methionine, which is an amino acid, which is good for depression and an anti-gray hair factor. So if you're deficient in this amino acid, uh, you can get gray hair. And I'm not saying it's going to help your hair, but it, it could affect it. Gallbladder support, omega-3 fatty acids, and a lot of other nutrition. Um, it's kind of similar to peanut butter, but it's more bland. Um, olive oil, I've done a seminar on that recent, or a video on that recently. Anti-inflammatory, supports the cardiovascular system, high in vitamin E. Okay, get the extra virgin. Um, lemon. Lemon is really good for preventing kidney stones. It's also high in vitamin C and has a lot of other things as well. Garlic. It's probably one of the most powerful antimicrobial things you can consume. And anti-cancer. I mean, there's a lot of phytonutrients. I mean, it's good for uh, parasites and uh, fungus and you name it. And then we got the sea salt. Sea salt is composed of 94 minerals. So can that, I mean, this is an incredible combination of ingredients to make hummus. So it's okay to consume it uh, even on a ketogenic diet. So, okay guys, in summary, you can either find some from the health food store or make it your own. I put a recipe down below, check it out.